the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon update video. In this new video, I want to have a look at the major update George R. R. Martin has given us on his Not A Blog website. In his new update, he revealed a lot of very interesting information about House of the Dragon. He also gave his thoughts about House of the Dragon's most recent episode. Let's have a look at what he said because I think most of you will enjoy this as much as I did. So, after he went over what has happened in football this week, he says, I had almost forgotten how good it feels to win. So life is magical and full of joy right now at any rate. How so the dragon has helped brighten my Sundays as well. I mean, I cannot really review the show, that would be crazy. I'm hardly objective, but I do want to commend Ryan Condal and Miguel Sapochnik and the cast and crew for the work they've done. Sunday's episode, The Lord of the Tides, was everything I hoped it should be. Kudos to Eileen Shim, the scriptwriter, to Gita Patel, the director, to our incredible cast, and especially Mr. Considine, for his job as King Viserys Targaryen, the first of his name. The character he has created, along with the help of many others working behind the scenes for the show, is so much more tragic and fully fleshed out than my own version in Fire and Blood that I'm half tempted to go back and rip up those chapters and rewrite the whole history of his reign. He deserves an Emmy for this episode alone. If he doesn't get one, hey, there's no justice. Now there is something I want to say. I absolutely agree with what George R. R. Martin has said right here. What he did as Viserys in the last episode was nothing short of incredible. It's easily one of the best scenes from House of the Dragon for me. Now, George R. R. Martin goes on to say, Meanwhile, I am going to give Archmaester Gildane a smack for leaving out so much good stuff. No, I'm not really going to rewrite Fire and Blood, that was a jape. And no, I'm not going to assault Archmaester Gildane, who does not actually exist. I made him up. For those of you who don't know, Archmaester Gildane is the one who wrote the history of Fire and Blood. This is a book of imaginary history chronicling the Targaryen kings of Westeros. It provides a context and a background for everything that happens in a, in a Song of Ice and Fire. And it's uh, not actually written by me, it's written by Archmaester Gildane of the Citadel of Old Town, who's a, a very distinguished scholar, but also a somewhat idiosyncratic and crotchety old man who has strong opinions on the historical figures he's writing about. So. Uh, some of his uh, views may creep into the text. Uh, I don't vouch for its authenticity. The Targaryens were people. There were good ones, there were bad ones. Some of them were mad. They were all the product of uh, generations of incest. There's a lot more I would love to blog about, but I do not have the time. There's a website known as The Rap that has some great interviews with Ryan Condal, including one where he spoke about our supposed rivalry with the Lord of the Rings series, which mostly exists in the media. Ryan says basically the same thing I said in that interview with The Independent a few months ago. Nothing would make me happier than to see both shows succeed. I am a fantasy fan after all, and I want more fantasy on television, and nothing would accomplish that more than a couple of big hits. The Witcher, Shadow and Bone, Wheel of Time, and The Sandman, a glorious adaptation of Neil Gaiman's groundbreaking series. Those are a good start, but I want more. I also wanted to address the time jumps in House of the Dragon as well. Not with any kind of official statement. There is a lot to be said. I do not have the time to say it now though. Maybe in my next blog, or the one after, or maybe never, since I have so much work to do. Very briefly, however, I think Ryan has handled the jumps very well. And I love, love, love both the younger Alicent and Rhaenyra, and the adult versions of the actresses as well. Honestly, we have an incredible cast, and I love them all. Now, do I wish we'd had more time to explore the relationship of Rhaenyra and Sir Harwin, or the marriage of Daemon and Lena while they were in Essos, or the birth of various and sundry children? Absolutely. Now, this next thing he says is what a lot of fans have been wondering. He has now finally made it official. George R. R. Martin also said, in yes, Alicent gave Viserys four children, three sons and a daughter. Their youngest son, Daron, is down in Old Town. We just did not have the time to work him in this season and everything else we had to skip, sure. But there's only so many minutes in an episode and only so many episodes in a season. When I was a boy, shows had 39 episodes a season, but unfortunately, Cable has shrunk that even further. For instance, The Sopranos had 13 episodes in each season, but just a few years later, Game of Thrones had less than a dozen. 
If House of the Dragon had 13 episodes in every season, maybe we could have shown all the things we had to jump over. Though, that would have had some fans say that the show was either slow, or that nothing had happened. As it is, I am thrilled that we still have 10 hours every season to tell our story. The Lord of the Rings series only has 8, as you may have noticed. Alright, now here's where things get very interesting. He said, It is going to take 4 full seasons of 10 episodes each to do justice to the Dance of the Dragons from start to finish. And now we finally have somewhat of a confirmation. George R. R. Martin, who is the co-creator of House of the Dragon, has now said the show will have four full seasons with the same amount of episodes in each season. This is really great news considering some of us thought there may only be three seasons altogether. Now, I know a lot of us would love to see Game of Thrones on our television for the next 30 seasons, but you have to remember the Dance of the Dragons only lasted for a few years. They most likely could have finished House of the Dragon in three seasons if they really wanted, but I am more than happy that we're getting four full seasons. I also saw a recent interview where Ryan Condal said House of the Dragon could go into other stories of House Targaryen. As we all know, there was Aegon and his sister wives, the Blackfire Rebellions, Blood Raven, and so much more. He basically said they can find other ways to keep the show on the air. Hopefully, HBO will have another show greenlit and ready to film before House of the Dragon is officially over. Or, dare I say, let's hope The Winds of Winter is released before then as well. Now, George R. R. Martin ends his not a blog by saying, but right now, Ryan Condal's focus is on House of the Dragon second season, and mine is on the Winds of Winter, as we already know. I think this is a great update because now we actually know how long House of the Dragon will be, and we also know they haven't fully left out Viserys and Alicent's youngest son, Daron. I was wondering if they were going to leave him out of the show, but now we at least know he is alive and in the South. Let's just hope they will find a way to involve him next season. We shall see. Let me know what all of you think about everything down below. Are you happy about House of the Dragon getting four seasons, or do you think there should be less? As always, I want to thank all of you for watching this video. I hope all of you have a great day. I will see you again very soon in the next one. Bye.